Hi, Mike here. I guess you're here because Excel is doing weird things. Excel's always doing weird things, but this particular weird thing has got you pulling your hair out. You typed a long number into a cell, say a product ID that was 20 digits long, and Excel has replaced the last five digits with zeros. What gives? Well, Excel can't store more than 15 digits per cell. So when a number that's larger than that is entered into a cell, Excel stores the first 15 digits and replaces all remaining digits with zeros. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue. The first thing to say is that unfortunately, once the data is in the cells or cell, you can't fix it. So what I show you has to be done before you enter the data. Fix number one is to type an apostrophe into the cell and then type the number. The apostrophe tells Excel that what follows is to be treated as text. So in A1, I'll type an apostrophe and then type my 20 digit number. I do get a little green marker at the top corner of the cell and the warning icon. So if I click the warning icon, I can choose ignore error. Another way to fix the problem is to format the cell or cells as text before entering data. So if I just select a few cells and then go up to the drop down in the number section on the ribbon and select text, those cells are pre-formatted as text and now I don't even need to type the apostrophe, I can just type the number. I still get the green marker and I still get the yellow warning symbol, but again I can click on that and select ignore the error. And if I had multiple cells, I could select those cells, click the yellow marker and select ignore error. I don't have to do it for every cell. Finally, it's likely these days that rather than manually typing the product IDs in, they'll be imported from somewhere else. In this example, I've exported details of Excellent Ice Cream's products from their products database into a CSV file, and I need to import that into Excel. I'll click on Data, Get Data, select CSV, and then browse to find the CSV file. Select it and click Get Data, and click Next. Once you have the Power Query preview window displayed, click Transform Data, and this opens up the Query Editor. Simply change the data type of the product code column to text. So if I just widen the product code column, I don't need to widen it, but I just want you to be able to see all the data in there. Click on the 1.2, which indicates that at the moment that column is numeric, select text from the list, click on add new step, and then click close and load. And what that will do is close the query editor and load the data into the spreadsheet cells. I'll zoom in so you can actually see it. And there we have the product codes treated as text with the 20 characters exactly as they were in the CSV file. Now, before I wrap up, Last year, Microsoft added a feature to both the Mac and Windows versions to get around this problem. But I think it's only available to 365 users. And at the time of recording, I'm not sure whether it's in general availability or still only available to beta users. On the Mac, it's still in the beta. On Windows, I'm not sure. You'll find it in the options. Simply untick the keep first 15 digits box and you can just ignore what you've seen in this video. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.